Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and this is a quick look at the latest build of Windows 11 for dev and beta channel, as both channels are still together. Once again, remember that if you want to remove yourself from insiders, move yourself to the beta channel. Very important, because if you stay in the dev channel, within the next few weeks, you'll be moving ahead to something else, and you won't be able to get out before the next time, probably much later this year or even next year, where they're going to do this again to enable people to actually change the uh, rings. Also, a lot of questions about security updates. A lot of you on the beta channel um, have asked, why don't I see the security updates for Patch Tuesday? They're embedded within each build. So that means that 22.598 that we got uh, yesterday is, um, of course, has the security updates in them. So no worries about that. What's new in this build? Really, nothing much, honestly. Um, if you do a clean install, the background picture that you see here will now be the spotlight picture. For those that wonder what's the spotlight picture, when you turn on your PC and you have the lock screen, by default, the spotlight picture is that picture that you have every day that's different that Microsoft actually offers you. It will be a default uh, wallpaper, desktop wallpaper, uh, for clean installs. So that means if you do install with the uh, image, the ISO, you'll be able to have that um, in the uh, background. So the Windows Spotlight is going to be there. Um, the updated tooltips for the volume icon and stuff like that. So a little bit of changes here and there, but nothing much. Honestly, most of what's in there is the same as there was before. Uh, and lots of bug fixes in here. If you want to take a look at it, the uh, media player has been updated. So there's an update. They have kind of uh, made a few things a little better according to what people were talking about. Also fixed a few bugs. Some people are complaining of their music library maybe not going exactly the way they wanted on the new media player. Well, this is, of course, something that is uh, apparently fixed. So if you can try it again, like I said, you still have the old Windows Media Player. It doesn't change anything there. If you want to try it, you can try the new Media Player. If you don't see the new Media Player, because the Media Player that you have, um, of course, is the one that um, uh, has been up to date. And you might say, well, you know, I don't have the up to date media player, I don't know what uh, what to do. Um, what you need to do in this case is simply uh, go. So for example, here, if I go into the settings, you'll see that I'm on 11.2203.30. This is the latest version. Uh, to have it, you have to go to the um, Microsoft Store and make sure that you, of course, get the updates. Uh, you can go on the bottom left and check the library, check, click Get Updates you should be getting an update for the media player. If it's a not, it's still the old one, nothing has changed, then just go here and check it out. As you see here, Windows Media Player uh, was modified yesterday at the same time of the install. And if you don't see it, just click Get Updates, and it's going to actually search for anything new that has to be up to date on your computer for apps. Uh, build seems to run well. Remember that these are builds that are for 22H2. That's what's coming this fall. So what's going to happen here is that 22H2, as you see here, is um, the next version of Windows. As long as the, um, the uh, watermark is there, that means that it's still in testing phase. At some point, because some, some of you have asked, well, is that watermark going to stay there all the time? No. And in insiders, it's always the same thing. The watermark you see in the bottom right is to tell you you got an insider built. Insider builds expire after a short amount of time. As you see here, this one expires 15th of, this, of September 2022. As you'll get more, you'll see that, of course, it'll expire later. And at some point, you'll have the standard Windows 11 version that will have that watermark removed. So that's going to come later this year, <clears throat> sorry, later this summer or uh, maybe in the fall when we get the uh, stable version or pretty much what is going to be the stable version. 
Last but not least, don't forget you can get the ISO and do a clean install. They have released ISOs or images for 22598. So you can go and check that out and get it. So uh, don't forget about that. If you want to do clean install or just want to have a version of uh, this uh, built in a uh, USB thumb drive for uh, any purpose. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. <coughs> Thank you for watching.